These days, buyers looking for an opulent electric SUV have a lot of options to choose from, and Audi is getting ready to add the 2025 Q6 e-tron to the lineup. It is designed to fill the gap between the Q4 and Q8 e-trons for people who feel the former to be a little too tiny and the latter to be a little too huge. Despite only being available at first with an all-wheel drive, dual motor setup, an entry-level model with a single motor will eventually be added to the range. The dual motor variant, which has 456 horsepower and an anticipated driving range of more than 300 miles per charge, will suit drivers well for the time being. High-tech and elegantly designed, the interior has a curved dashboard display panel and eco-friendly materials used in the upholstery. The Q6 e-tron Sportback, which has a fastback body shape and a little more elegant appearance, provides essentially the same experience as the SQ6 e-tron, but we review that model individually. It will compete with other EV SUVs such the Cadillac Lyric, Genesis Electrified GV70 and Lexus RZ when it launches on the market around the end of 2024. The brand new Q6 e-tron is anticipated to go into production as a 2025 model in 2024. Depending on the specification and options, the 2025 Audi Q6 e-tron is anticipated to cost between $66,000 and $81,000. Although Audi hasn't officially disclosed the Q6 e-tron's starting price, our best guess is that it will be roughly $66,000. Additionally, we anticipate that it will come in three different luxury trim levels – Prestige, Premium, and Premium Plus. This will adhere to Audi's standard trim level structure. We'll add specifics to this story as soon as we learn more about the features and cost of the Q6 e-tron. All Q6 e-tron variants currently have a dual-motor electric drivetrain with 456 horsepower and all-wheel drive. There will reportedly be a single electric motor model with rear-wheel drive later on. A dual-motor prototype Q6 e-tron with an air spring suspension system provided a smooth and controlled ride during our test drive. Drivers who are interested in performance might consider the SQ6 e-tron, which has 510 horsepower and a sportier suspension setup. We'll make sure to update this area as soon as we get the opportunity to drive and test a more polished and finished production vehicle. Although this promise hasn't been put to the test yet, Audi claims the Q6 e-tron can reach 60 miles per hour in just 5.0 seconds. We plan to provide test findings and more driving impressions of the Q6 e-tron when we get the opportunity to test drive it on our own soil. The Q6 e-tron has a 94.4 kWh battery with an 800 volt design that, according to Audi, can be charged from 10% to 80% capacity in less than 30 minutes using a DC fast charging source. Although the EPA has not yet provided an estimated driving range, we anticipate that the most efficient model will have a range of roughly 300 miles between charges. We haven't had a chance to test drive the Q6 e-tron on our highway fuel economy test route at 75 metaprimes, and the EPA hasn't commented on the fuel economy estimates yet. As soon as we do, we'll update this piece with the outcomes of actual tests. The Q6 e-tron has a modern interior with plenty of display panels and convenience features, just like other Audi SUVs. The abundance of digital real estate may overwhelm some users, even though the style is definitely current. Even yet, those people will undoubtedly find the interior's lovely components, some of which are made of sustainable materials, appealing. The Q6 e-tron's wheelbase is more than three inches larger than the gas-powered Q5 SUVs, resulting in a more capacious passenger cabin, despite the two vehicles being almost identical in size. Although there isn't as much cargo room behind the second row as in some other EV SUVs, the Audi does have a tiny frunk storage area under the engine. 
The dashboard of the Q6 e-tron is dominated by a wall of screens. A third display, a 10.9-inch touchscreen, is an available addition for the passenger. The vehicle comes standard with a curved 11.9-inch gauge display and a 14.5-inch infotainment touchscreen. In addition to providing access to the infotainment system, that screen may broadcast video content. However, the driver cannot see it while the car is moving. The software is a novel Android-based interface that we tested on a prototype device and found to be easy to get used to, even if it lacks physical buttons. An 830-watt Bang & Olufsen stereo system is included, along with a head-up display and an augmented reality navigation system. Many driver assistance technologies, including common ones like automated emergency braking and a driver drowsiness monitor, are included as standard equipment with Audi vehicles. Options for more sophisticated features include an adaptive cruise control system with lane centering functionality. The Q8 e-tron SUV's limited and powertrain warranties will also apply to the Audi Q6 e-tron and Q6 e-tron Sportback. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share and also comment down below. Thank you.